A very good day to my beloved lecturers and panels. My name is Kumar Rajendran and today I'm going to present on our IDP project. Now our IDP project title is Semi Automated Pineapple Peeling Mission. A mentor for our project is Dr. Aziz Bey Mohammad. Our group consists of five members. The first one is Dexter Deekai, he is the group leader, and followed it by me, myself, Kumar Rajendran, and third one is Moma Ashraf, fourth one is Moma Azik, and the last one is with Mahadri. So next we move on to the chapter one, which is on the introduction. So what is a SME? A SME is known as a small medium enterprise where a business is run by a small enterprise and also medium enterprise. So in this project, why we choose a pineapple? So pineapple is the second highest crop in Malaysia after banana, but the production in pineapple product is very less among SMEs. And what is the opportunities for SME? So to support SME, uh, our project will be mainly focusing on our pineapple production for SMEs where we provide solution uh, to help in their pineapple canning process uh, to increase in their higher production rate, lower the labor cost, less time taken, and also better quality, right? So next, we move on to the problem statement. So as we done some studies and survey, uh, we found that uh, most of the SME are still using the traditional method where they're using a knife to peel off the pineapple. And there are a few problems in that. So the first one is there are high chances of cause injuries. And uh, second is worker fatigue. Third one is more time taken. The fourth one is less production rate. And the last one is uh, pay more for the worker cost. So to overcome this problem, we have come up with our objective. So the first objective is to design a machine that enable the workers in SME to peel the pineapple skin easily. Second is to prevent injuries to the workers during the peeling process. And the third one is to reduce the time taken plus increase the productivity and less the labor force. And fourth one is to design a machine that, ha uh, that is affordable and also user-friendly. So next is the scope. So our scope have narrowed down focusing on design a machine for pineapple peeling. And the second is to focus on developing a semi-automated peeling machine. Third is, this, uh, our product is targeted for entrepreneurs of SMEs. And the fourth one is to design an affordable peeling machine. So next we move on to the chapter 2, which is on the analysis. So we have done some market survey and we found that there are three types of machine available in the market. The first one is an automated peeling machine. Second is a manual peeling machine. And the third one is a traditional peeling machine. All right. So I'm going to make some comparison in terms of four key points. So the first one is in terms of cost, right? So for automated peeling machine, it is expensive as you can see the price range below. And for manual peeling machine is affordable. And a traditional peeling machine is cheap. And in terms of labor requirement, uh, there is reduced in labor requirement for automated peeling machine. And for manual peeling machine, uh, the labor also reduced when compared to the traditional peeling where it requires more labor. And uh, in terms of error and fatigue, there is no human error or fatigue for automated peeling machine because the process is fully done by the uh, machine. And for manual peeling machine, there is a chances of human error and fatigue to happen. And for traditional uh, peeling machine, there is a, definitely there is a high chances of human error and fatigue. Right? And in terms of production rate, uh, automated peeling machine have a higher production rate. And for manual, it's moderate range. And for the traditional peeling is a low production rate, right? So next, uh, we move on to the design of market survey. So we have conducted the survey through a questionnaire where we use the Google Form platform. And our questionnaire consists of three parts, which is the general information, current situation, and customer expectation. So we have collected a total of 36 respondents, and the feedback feedbacks are collected through emails, phone calls, and uh, questionnaires to analyze our survey, all right? So that's all for my part for today's presentation. Thank you so much for giving here to my presentation. I really appreciate it. And the following slide will be continued by my friends. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum and good morning. My name is Mona Ashraf Umar Rashid. Thank you Kumaran for cover chapter 1 and chapter 2. So I will continue with chapter 3, design specification. We conducted the survey. We come up with house of quality. As you can see here, we have customer requirement that is pineapple amount, peeling rate, flash loss, machine size, machine cost, maintenance cost, durability, and lastly is mobility. We also have uh, engineering requirement that is weight, cutting tool geometry, process time, top of shelf, material rigidity, rate of flash loss, manufacturing cost, and peeling mechanism. So as the conclusion, we conclude that rate of flash loss 
have the highest relative weight compared to others, followed by cutting tool geometry, and lastly, top of shelf. Next is product design specification. So in our PDS, we have uh, our product name that is semi-automatic pineapple peeling machine. So the function is to peel the pineapple skin. What special about our product is we have high productivity with the least maintenance cost, semi-automated uh, process, flash loss less than five percent, peel between. 20 to 40 kilograms in less than one hour. Affordable price that is cheap uh, compared to the market and easy to operate. So we also have a uh, market identification which is we target our product to the SMI food processing. So uh, for the physical description, uh, that's uh, the size of our machine. Is actually uh, medium compared to the product in the market. So we, we also have the manufacturing cost that is 335 ringgit and estimate retail price 500 ringgit. Okay, next we continue with chapter 4 that is concept generation. So this is our physical decomposition. So for our product, we have five main components that is power supply blades, plastic block, tracks, and platform. So under power supply, we have electric actuator. Okay, next, we have the our context diagram where we have energy supply, user, environment, and technician. So next, we go to the next slide. That is functional structure. So our function started by cut both end of the pineapple, then we load the pineapple press the start button so that energy supply will convert the electrical energy to mechanical energy then it will trigger the plastic block to push the pineapple toward the blade so pineapple being peeled by the blade so uh, after peeling process finish the pineapple will drop to the button of the platform so we have the output here the, the finished product that called pineapple part after finish the process, the plastic block will return to its starting position due to maximum pushing limit. So this is our morphological chart. So I will highlight three key points for the function. For the first function, we have provide power for the movement of the compressor. So for the option one, we need to use electric actuator. Option two, pneumatic actuator where option 3, we need to use hydraulic jet for the function to compress the pineapple uh, option, option 1, we need to use metal block option 2, we need to use uh, plastic block so for the cleaning of the machine uh, for the option 1, we have hole to drop the skin of the pineapple option 2, uh, we remove the skin manually so this is our final slide that is conceptual design. After conducted the survey, we come up with five different concepts which is its fit uh, the customer requirement and what they expected for our product. After doing the analysis, we conclude that we choose concept five as our final concept. So this stuff uh, will be explained by my friends in the next slide. So I think that's all for me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum and very good morning. My name is Lukman Hadri in Hassan Nasri. Matrix number 17111-0663. I'm a student from Mechanical Engineering and from Group IDP number 14. Today, I would like to present to you about our Chapter 5 concept section and chapter 6, Embodiment Design. Let's start. First, Park Chart. Park Chart is a method that used to compare and helps in making decisions on the concept generated. It also helps to determine the concept or design that is more valuable. In the Park Chart, there is a uh, criteria for the concept that needs to be compared and 
for the our our project we have five concept and in among the five concept concept three and five has the highest net score part chat continue in the part chat section two concept five had the highest higher net score compared to concept three hence concept five will be chosen as our final concept Weight decision matrix. The weight decision matrix is a quantitative technique that evaluates a set of choices such as ideas and concepts against a set of criteria that need to be taken into account. Weight decision matrix uh, includes design criteria and weight factor for each of the criteria. The design criteria includes material cost, manufacturing cost, repairability, filling time, mechanism, reliability, and durability. And as we can see in the table, the concept file has the highest net score, which is 6.84. Analytical hierarchy process (HP). Analytical hierarchy process is a structured technique for organizing and analyzing complex decision. It represents accurate approach for quantifying the weight of decision criteria. The analytical hierarchy process includes rating factor, relative rating of importance of two selection criteria A and B and expansion of rating. HP continued. These criteria rating are in integrated from the result of house of quality which is out HOQ. After obtaining result from HOQ, normalized criteria comparison matrix and consistency analysis is checked. See at the, look at the table and you can see that uh, concept file has the highest net score which is 1.9738 among the five concepts similar from the result result from weight dissimetrics. So concept file will be chosen as our final concept. Next, chapter 6, embodiment design. Key subsystem. There are two key subsystems that will define the system used by the pineapple peeling machine, which is power supply module and peeling module. Power supply module consists of electrical supply, switch, start stop button, and electric actuator. And the peeling module is include circular blade, plastic block, and aluminium track. Key subsystem continued. For the power supply module, the pineapple peeling machine requires various forms of power. Electrical power supply integrate with the switching regulator for converting the electrical power efficiently. The power supply is used to run the electric actuator. The four, eight, and for the peeling module, major component for the peeling module is the circular blade. The pineapple will attach on the top of the blade and the user will press the start button switch. And the plastic block attached on the electric actuator will be pushed down and the skin of the pineapple will be peeled off by the circular blade. The pineapple flesh is removed once the peeling process is done. Product architecture. Physical decomposition shows the component flow of schematic diagram of pineapple peeling machine and how it functions clustered into modules. And the process to develop the product architecture include clustering the physical element and the functional element into grouping or chunk for the performing for performing the specific function or set of functions. The difference in the type of modular architecture are, that are defined by the type of interface between the modules are laid out. As we can see that in the first red column there's power supply module and the, for the second red column it is for peeling module. Configuration design. Configuration design is a conceptual design activity in which physical systems are synthesized from a set of predefined components that can be obtained only in certain ways. The configuration design phase includes the preliminary selection of material, manufacturing process, and part layout. The configuration design is focusing more on the product function. Parametric design. Design variables for parametric design are assigned to the component that have been acknowledged in the configuration design. Parametric design, on the other hand, is concentrating in and into analytical design. Parametric design examines the set of value 
of design variables by considering both performance and cost, which leads to the producing the best possible design. That's all for me. Thank you. Hello and good day everyone. My name is Muhammad Azib Hamdan. So my part is going to present about our chapter 7 prototyping. So based on the slide, this is our full assembly of our product that we made by using Katia V5 software. So based on the screen, uh, there is a electric actuator that will be used to push the plastic block that will be attached to it. And it will be used to push the pineapple to be peeled at the circular blade. The platform acts as our frame body of our product and the start and stop button which will be used for operates and stop the machine. So this is the uh, tweaking components assembly that we made by using Inventor. So it will show you how we uh, reassemble part by part of our component. So as you can see here, the black part is our the black part is our outer part of our electric actuator and the long part is the internal part of our electric actuator and the white part below it is the plastic block that will be attached to the internal part of the electric actuator Next is our full assembly layout based on the screen uh, we made a drawing by one by using the scale 1 cm to 4 meter. So the right, the upper right side is our side view of our product. The upper left side is our front view of our product, and the below part is our top view of our product. So how our machine works? In order to use our machine, firstly you need to cut the cut the upper part and the below part of the pineapple and make it a cylinder shape and then you uh, attach it on, on the circular blade and you switch on the main power supply next you press the start button to push the pineapple and then after that you press the stop button and switch off the power supply so here we made a simulation video for you to easily understand on how our machine works so based on the video uh, when you push the start button the internal part of the electric actuator will push the circular block and then we we'll push the pineapple to be peeled at the circular blade of our product and after that we we'll press the stop button and the internal part will remain at the origin next is our engineering analysis we made the analysis by using NC software. So we we made a test at our circular blade, and we made test for two force, which is 0.5 kN and 1.0 kN. So when the 0.5 kN force is being applied to to the plus to the circular blade, we get the minimum stress, which is 30 kPa, and the maximum stress 319 kPa and the yield strength is higher than the maximum stress so for the test result of 1.0 kN when it is being applied we get a minimum stress of 77 kPa maximum stress 638 kPa and the yield strength is higher than maximum stress so as the conclusion we made that as the yield strength is higher than the maximum stress no deformation is occurs next we continue on our NCs but we made this test for in order to know how the our circular blade will be deformed if the force is being applied to it so we applied the two force which is 0.5 kN and 1.0 kN when 0.5 kN force is being applied to the circular blade the, it, will be, it will deform maximum at the 0.000242 mm but for the 1.0 kN and when the force is being applied, we get the total deformation, total maximum deformation we get is 4.0.000484 mm. So that's all from me. Thank you for spend time with spend time to hear my presentation. Thank you.
Good morning to the panels and the Dexter from IDP Group 14. Today, I would like to present on Chapter 8, Economics Analysis, and Chapter 9, Discussion and Conclusion. Firstly, Bill of Material is the list of materials, parts, and components that are required for product manufacturing. In our product, we require 8 parts and components where the total cost is 335 ringgit. The gross profit per product is the difference between net sales and the cost of product. Our cost of product is 335 ringgit and expected sales is 500 ringgit. Hence, the gross profit is 165 ringgit and 33%. Income statement shows the income and expenses in manufacturing of product. Our net sales of 200 products is 100,000 ringgit and the cost of materials is 67,000 ringgit. Hence, the, market, the marketing expenses is estimated to be 2,000 ringgit. Administrative expenses include the rental, salary for four workers, office supplies, and insurance is 10,300 ringgit. Hence, the total expenses is 79,300 ringgit. And the gross profit will be 33,000 ringgit and it makes our net profit 20,700. Ringgit. The minimum sales required is to determine the minimum sales required to overcome the expenses. The net profit of one product is 165 ringgit and the expenses of operation is 12,300 ringgit. Hence, we need 75 machines to be sales to overcome the expenses. Operating profit margin is the indicator for power of earning of a company. Increasing in operating profit margin from time to time is a healthy financial status for a growing company. Our net operating profit margin is 20.7%. In Chapter 9, Discussion and Conclusion Firstly, Discussion on Solution Justification Material selection is a crucial part in manufacturing of product to make the product long-lasting. We have selected aluminium as our main product for its high strength, durability, and reliability. The material cost is also a main concern during material selection. Our cost of material is 335 ringgit and the expected sales is 500 ringgit, which has fulfilled the customer requirement from the survey where their, expected, their, where their acceptable region is 700 to 2000 ringgit. As our product requires only welding, we have also low manufacturing costs. Sustainability refers to interruption in usage of product. We have analyzed the performance of circular blade in order to make our product sustainable. As the circular blade is the main cutting part in our product. Next, impact on environment and society. Our product has no harm or minimum harm to the environment as there is less or no gas emission involved during the process to the society, SME operators can reduce the main power, manpower required as most of the work can be done by machine. As our product has introduced, there is an economical product in the market. Our product has smaller size compared to fully automated pineapple peeling machine, hence there is less space required. In conclusion, we have achieved all our four objectives. The first objective is to design a machine that enables the workers in SME to peel the skin of pineapple easily. So the pineapple peeling machine can make the processing work easy for, for the workers. Second objective is to prevent injuries from, for, to the workers. The risk of injuries has been decreased since our peeling process are done by the machine. The Moreover, the circular blade is placed on the platform instead of moving blade to reduce the chance of getting hurt. The third objective is to reduce the time taken for peeling process thus increase the productivity and lessen the labor force. As mentioned before, workforce can be reduced because the machine has carried out most of the peeling process. It has saved production time and more efficient because the machine will not get fatigued even for a long production time. The fourth objective is to design a machine that has low cost and easy to operate. It is affordable to SME operators since it is cheaper than fully automated machine. Our semi-automated 
Fire Apple peeling machine is also user friendly. Hence, it's, hence it requires no extra training courses. For a rec for recommendation, our product can be improved by adding the cutting process for the top and bottom part of the pineapple, and it will become fully automated pineapple peeling machine. As our current product, we requires the workers to be to cut the top and bottom part of our of the pineapple manually before place to the our machine. And that's all for today. Thank you.